you know, we've talked about emotions and the Stoics mm. have a, let's call it a generalized theory of emotions. They never yeah. put it into one book. Although, interestingly, some of the lost Stoic literature would have done that. So we know mm. that, that like, um, I think Zeno wrote a book, Peripathe, on the emotions. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they wrote books on specific emotions. We don't we don't have those. We we do have like Seneca has has a book on anger, which is quite good. Um, and then we've got all these scattered discussions and mm. references to the Stoics in in other authors who aren't necessarily Stoic themselves, like Cicero or Plutarch or Galen. But the, the, the Stoics did have a, a really nice theory of emotions. Um, and actually, I, I'm going to make a book recommendation, too. Somebody who's done great work on this in recent years is Margaret Graver. Mm. She's got that book, Stoicism and Emotion, where she mm. goes, yeah, goes I need through to get the text. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's, 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 she's really great. And the book is, is excellent as well. And she even points out where the Stoic account doesn't quite accommodate something. Mm -hmm. uh, so she, she's not sort of like a party line person, which, yeah, which is quite yeah. nice. But the Stoics thought that um, we have these responses that we, we, we typically call emotions or feelings. Mm. And they, you know, we often in our own culture, and this is where I think stoicism is particularly helpful to us. We often act as if, well, they just happen to us and we can't really do anything about them mm. um, other than maybe like stuff them down. And so if I'm feeling uh, mad, I can like, you know, pretend I'm not mad and, and then, you know, maybe it'll get better. Or if I'm feeling sad, I just kind of like, you know, reject that and put on a happy yeah. face. And none of that actually works. You know? yeah. The same thing with anxiety or fear. Um, I just won't let it get to me. Well, that mm. that's, that's not effective. Either. Yeah. So um, the Stoics said every emotion has some cognitive components to it. It always includes judgments about about things, about mm. you know, ourselves, the, the world, other people. Mm. So we, we tend to perceive things, they use this framework where it was in terms of perceiving things as good or bad, mm. rightly or wrongly. You know, oftentimes our, our judgments about whether something is good or bad mm. are actually off base. And then whether it's present or whether it's um, not on the scene but could be happening to us in the future. So if you think about fear and the whole modality of, of things that fall under fear, Mm. Um, that's perceiving something as bad and it's not yet here. Whereas yeah. perceiving it as bad and it's here, that's, that's pain or disturbance. Mm. And there's a lot of different sorts of that. And then there's, there's desire, which is for something that we think is good. If we, if we see something as good, we desire it. That's, that's the nature mm. of, of our, our being. Um, and there's a lot of different kinds of desire, like anger can be understood as a desire for revenge. Um, mm. you know, there's sexual desire, there's desire for food, there's all sorts of things, desire for, you know, we call ambition, the desire for social status. Mm. And then there's, um, you know, something that we can call, um, hopefulness or, um, you know, that would fit in there as well. And the Stoics were kind of down on, on that. And then when something is good, at least we think it's good, and we're experiencing it, we feel pleasure or joy or, mm. you know, all sorts of things in those modalities. And so there's the actual, like, feeling that we have, and then there's the actions that sometimes come from it. Like if you're sad, you cry, or if you're angry, you mm. shake. Um, if you desire something, you try to go get it. Mm. And then there's the thoughts that are going with it. And we don't, we can't really do that much directly about the feeling. We can do some things about the actions, but we can do a lot when it comes to the thoughts if we yeah. realize that we're thinking them. And so the Stoics devoted a lot of a, a t analysis, essentially, to figure out how do these emotions work. Mm. And they, they didn't reject emotion altogether. They thought that there were, there were, um, good emotional states, which they call the upathai. Um, the ear just means good and or well, mm. and pathe, you know, is, is coming from pathos, uh, feeling or emotion, something we undergo. So those included things like uh, rational fear, what's mm. called caution. So, you know, if, um, I don't know, like like uh, Skype, you know, goes in and out every once in a while. I'm, I'm actually surprised that we haven't had any, any issues uh, since, you know, we're, we're, 
doing these these uh, chats across uh, the Pacific. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's often amazing. When I'm talk- <laughs> yeah, when, often when I'm talking with Australian clients, there'll be a little bit of lag or something yeah. like that. I can have a rational concern about that. Yeah, if I if I allow that to increase to the extent that it like keeps me from being able to articulate what I need to say well, yeah. there's a problem, right? Mm. So it's not fear itself that's a problem. It's it's whether it, it's rational or not. Mm. Likewise, desire, you know, um, a prime example, you know, being married, right? Um, mm. Musonius Rufus talks about this. He often gets brought up by by conservative Christians because he says, well, the purpose of marriage is having children. But then almost immediately after that, he says, and it's also to produce intimacy with your spouse and mm-hmm. get to know them and friendship and all that. And how do you do that? Through what we call, you know, in, in older times, conjugal love, right? Yeah. Otherwise, you could just like uh, live somewhere else and your spouse can live somewhere else and you meet for coffee. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Share, sharing a household and, and being attracted to each other is an important part of marriage. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and the Stoics thought that that was that was really you know really central. Being attracted to everybody you see, well, that's a problem. Right? Yeah, that's no longer yeah. rational. Um, and, and you know, the, here's a good sort of jumping off point. If you think about our, our contemporary culture, which continually throws um, sexy images in front of us, it's probably tougher in our day um, to have a, a good emotional comportment. Um, when it comes to sexual desire than it was, say, in ancient ancient Rome or Greece, depending on, you know, how, how powerful you were. I mean, if you're powerful, mm. do whatever you want with your, your servants or slaves. Um, but if you're an ordinary Joe, you know, <laughs> you, you really had to confine yourself. So mm. we, may be, we may be at a real disadvantage when it comes to the proper development of our, our emotional capacities same thing with anger you know we you know we 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 don't give anybody much um understanding of how to deal with their their natural um desire for retaliation or revenge or rectification uh unless they cross certain lines and then we send them to anger management counseling Mm. right which is usually based on cbt which is coming out of some stoic stuff but by then it's usually too late you know um, we, we live in a society that tells us we should, we should, you know, the, the phrase clap back. Somebody says something bad to you. You should make sure you say something. Yeah. To them. Um, yeah. so, you know, the Stoics thought that dealing with the emotions properly and, and guiding them towards sort of rational amounts or expressions for, for joy, for caution, for desire, um, that would that would be really central to living a good life. Um, mm. Without that, you can't really be happy. And so you can understand the virtues as ways in which you 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 try to um, deal with the emotions, among other things. Mm. You know, they have to be actions, but but emotions is also part of it. 